And good acting isn't presentational. It's a give and take. And, and concentrating more on the other person than on yourself. And I think that, that you've got to carry that over into your everyday life. What a great joy to have the intimacy of that kind of communication where you're peeling away the layers of the onion and just getting down to a core. And we don't do that in everyday life. We don't really listen to one another three-fourths of the time. And haven't you heard that acting is listening? I mean, that's what it's all about. I mean, do you, do you disagree? Hi, this is Mally Finn. I'm a casting director in L.A. You'll have to impress someone like Mally Finn. She's one of the world's leading casting directors. We're looking for one thing only. We're looking for warriors. Very strong, frightening facial features that just jump off the page at you. You see the mischievous eyes, or you see the dimples, or you see uh, some distinctive feature. But something's happening there that says, whoa, I want, I want to get to know this person. I, you know, I like what I see here. Hollywood competition's tough. There's thousands of actors for every single job, all of them trying to get their face noticed. A fair number of them are filed in Marley Finn's office. This is where everything just gets spread out all over the place. We have file drawers here, we have African-American men, women here, actors with tattoos, bikers. We have specialty men down here, foreign actors, martial artists, musicians. We have teens here, models, Asian actors, boys, girls. So this is the workspace. This woman started staring at me and um, she and I thought she was so weird because she just stared at me and smiled at me and I'm just like yeah and I walked over to him and he was snarling at me and I said you want to audition for a movie a couple days later we get a call remember that woman you talked to in the Pasadena Boys Club and I'm like yeah and then she's well that's the casting director for Terminator 2 they want you to go up for the part of John Connor and I think my thumbprint is that I have a reputation for working with good, with good talent, with talent that is uh, crafted and, uh, and has that something special. I hope I do a good job. I want to impress Mally. Josh, come on in here. I want you to sit back. Yeah. Yeah, let's yeah. try it again. Yeah. I'm going to put you over the fence by Hey, fuck son of a bitch, you prick! You're the one you mad. By the way, she's away today. Too bad. In that new curve, boy? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 are you all right? <laughs> I put another dent in your wall. I see 75 actors doing a scene, the same scene during the day. It's that actor that comes in and owns a space that catches my attention. Sometimes actors will send uh, their name on a comb or they'll send in, um, uh, they'll send chocolates, you know, with their names on the chocolate. No, I don't think you should do that kind of thing. Most of the time I look for people who are a little off-center. I don't respond, you know, to uh, a kind of model. And that's that extra charisma or talent or specialty or look or feel, something that just jumps out at you, and you've got to cast them. I came out here in my 40s and knocked on doors and people said, go away. Your theater experience doesn't mean anything. You're a woman. And uh, it was people like Lynn Stallmaster and so many people that allowed me to walk through the door and to uh, become a casting director and have another career. And the Emmy for Outstanding Casting for a miniseries, movie, or special goes to Molly Finn, 61. Well, this is uh, for Billy Crystal. He's just amazing to work with. So is my husband, who's been with me and supported all these years. Thank you so very, very much to the Academy. I appreciate it. I love getting up every morning and going to work, and it's because I have such a great office and a great job. When I first went out for job interviews in this town, I was so enthusiastic, and someone said to me at one point, 
Are you on pills or something? <laughs> <laughs>